Hi, fourth grade, it's Mrs. Boswell. And today we are going to be doing module three, lesson 12. And we're going to be doing two-step multiplication story problems. So today we're going to be doing Module 3, Lesson 12, Two-Step Multiplication Story Problems. And I can find mine on page 41 and 42. Remember you can pause the video as you need and then play it again or re-watch a little part if you need. All right, what we're going to be doing is you're going to have a story problem today, okay, and we're going to be solving it. But it says today, it says, I can solve two-step word problems. So remember, we're going to do the read, draw, write method as we do it. But on the draw, you're going to notice that I have a step one and then a step two. Okay, so it says, the table shows the cost of party favors. Each party guest receives a bag with each item. What is the total cost for nine guests? And I also notice up here I have a table, okay, and it says item and then cost, okay, and that should be the same on yours. But remember when we read, we want to under, circle and underline important information or even box work. So here we go, it says the table shows the cost of party favors. So I know that these party favors are going to be important. So this box over here is important. So I'm just gonna star that for myself. Cause I can see that a balloon costs 25 cents, a lollipop is 14 cents, and a bracelet is 33 cents, okay? It says each party guest receives a bag with each item. So each bag has these three items in it, okay? So each party guest receives a bag with each item. So a bag with each item. And I know that the each items, I'm gonna put three up there because I get three items for me. It says, what is the total cost for nine guests? So I have two different questions really here if I'm looking at it, because first of all, I don't know how much one bag costs, okay? So I need to know what are my costs. So I, the first step I'm going to do is do what? Because I know that each party guest receives a bag with each item, which is these three items. And I noticed over here is I have the three items. So I'm gonna add those three items. So my first step, I'm going to add. So I'm gonna write that word there, add, because that's my first step. So I'm gonna add, the balloon, the lollipop, and the bracelet, okay? So I know I have the balloon is 25 cents, okay? The lollipop is 14 cents, and the bracelet is 33 cents. But I know that when I have cents, I'm gonna have a, a, a period in front of them, okay? And you can just think, remember that. But I'm still going to add it just like I've done. I'm gonna still do my standard algorithm when I add it, okay? So I always like to put in my lines. I know that we said we're gonna add, so in that circle, I'm gonna put a plus sign in there. So I have five plus four is nine, plus three more is 12. So I'm gonna keep the two, carry the one. Two plus one is three, plus another three is six, plus seven, okay? Or one, sorry, six plus one more is seven, okay? So that's gonna be 72 cents. And I'm gonna keep my label. So I've done the first part. It said each party guest receives a bag with each item, okay? Well, each item comes to a cost of 72 cents, okay? Now, here's step two. It says, what is the total cost for the nine guests? Well, how many guests are there? Nine. Well, I know the cost for one bag is 72 cents, okay? So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna write the number 72. Okay, and I'm going to multiply it by what? By nine, okay? Because I know that I have nine guests, right? And each bag costs 72 cents. 
right? 72 cents. So I need to see how much is it? How much do I have to pay for nine guests? What's that total cost? So I'm going to take 72 times nine. So up here for step two, so the first step I added, the second step I am multiplying. Multiply. Okay, so I have my multiplication in there. Okay, well, I know I'm going to do nine times two. Nine times two is 18. Okay, then I'm going to do nine times seven. Right? But I also know that that's in my tens place value, so I needed a zero. And nine times seven is 63. Okay, and then I'm going to add it. And I notice I have in this extra spot, but do I have any numbers here? Nope. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it. So I can even move this line up if I need it. So I'm gonna add these together. So eight plus zero is eight. 1 plus 3 is 3, and then I have a 6. But remember that I had, this is cents, and remember when we have cents or change, there's two decimals, so I'm going to add that decimal here. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to carry over that decimal. 1, 2. So I could say it's 638 cents, correct? But really it's $6.38. Okay? So now, have I found out the total cost for the nine guests? Yes. The total cost for all nine guests is $6.38. So down here I'm saying the total cost for nine guests was $6.38. Now do I need to add the cent sign if I have the decimal there? No. That decimal is the same as saying cents. Okay. All right. Great job on that one. We're going to do another example of a two-step word problem that you will have today and you will see in your problems. Okay, So remember, it says I can solve two-step word problems. So we're going to read and we're going to circle and underline our information. It says, the Turner family uses 548 liters of water per day. How much? 548 liters of water per day. And I know that's the Turner family, so I'm going to say that T. Okay, so that Turner family, T. All right, the Hill family, oh, there's the Hill family, see that's another family, uses three times as much water per day. Well, I know three times, that word times means what? It means multiply. So I'm gonna put an X up there because I know I'm gonna have to multiply. Okay, and then it says, how much water does the Hill family use per week? So use per week. Ooh, how much? Hmm. So let's figure out what's my first step? What do I have to solve for first? So let me read again. The Turner family uses 548 liters of water per day. Okay, so they use that per day. So that's once, once a day. Hill family uses three times as much water per day. So what am I going to do first? If you said multiply, you're correct. So up here I'm going to write the word multiply because on my first step I'm going to multiply. Okay, and what am I multiplying? 548 liters, so 548 liters, okay, times what? Three, because the Hill family uses up to three times as much. So we're going to go through and multiply, so we're going to do three times eight. 24, we're going to carry, so to 24, right? Now we're going to do 3 times 4, but I know that's in my 10, so I need a 0. 3 times 4 is 12. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go to my 100, so I need two zeros. I'm going to do 3 times 5. 3 times 5 is 15. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and add those all together. So 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. 2 plus 2 plus 0 is 4. 5 plus 1 is 6, plus a 1. So it says the Hill family uses three times as much water per day. So how much does the Hill family use per day? They use 1,644 liters of water per day, right? 
So now I've solved the first step. We had to multiply, we had to figure out how much they do per day. But now here's the second part of that question or the second step. How much water does the Hill family use per week? Well, I want to think about that. I'm figuring out how much, I know how much they do per day, but it says per week. Well, how many days are there in a week? Ah, if you said there are seven, you're correct. So now what am I going to do? I know how much they use per day, but I need to know how much per week. Ah, if you said I'm going to take their per day, so I'm going to take that 1,644, okay? I'm going to take that and I'm going to multiply it by what? By seven? How did I get seven? Because there's seven days per week. Okay, now this is off a little bit, so we'll have to make some adjustments with me, okay? So, I have 1,644 times seven. So I'm gonna do my ones first. So I'm gonna do seven times four. All right, seven times four is 28, okay? Then I'm gonna come down here in my tens, I'm gonna add a zero. I'm gonna do seven times four again, which is 28. Then I'm going to add, I'm going to come down here, and now I'm in the hundreds, so I need two zeros, okay? Six, or seven times six is, so six times six is 36, plus another six is 42, okay? Now I'm going to come to my thousands. How many plays, how many zeros do I have to have? One, two, three, one, two, three. And now I'm going to do seven times one. Well, what is seven times one? It's just seven. Now I'm gonna take all those numbers, I'm gonna add them together, okay? Eight plus zero plus zero plus zero is eight. Two plus eight plus zero plus zero is 10. So I'm gonna write a zero, carry the one. Two plus two is four plus zero plus one is five. And then seven and four is 11, okay? so. I'm gonna go one, two, three, wee. All right, so let's go back to our question. It says, how much water does the Hill family use per week? They use 11,508 what? Ooh, if you said liters, you're correct. So let's go down here and write in our answer. It says the Hill family uses 11,508 liters. I do need that label. Liters of water per week, okay? Now have we answered it? How many steps were in that problem? There were two. But let's go up here. What did we decide on step two? We did multiply for step one. What did we do on step two? We multiplied again. So don't forget to write that in that we multiply, okay? Now was that the same on our first problem? Did we multiply and multiply? No, on our first one, we add, we added, and then we multiplied. So remember, our, our two-step problems, it's really important that you read that question and go back and really look at it to decide, what am I doing first for step one, and then what am I doing for step two? Good luck today on your work.